Genevieve Lynn, the woman who left me her email, is dead. I can't get her death out of my mind from when I called her. She was there and then she was just gone. I went with William and Henry today to examine the body and the place of her death. We could smell the same horrible smell that used to linger around the bail house at the crime scene. My wife could smell it on me when I came home. The only way I can describe it is like the smell of rotting flesh within a sewer of freshly disposed waste. We managed to find some footprints, though. They were massive and round like an elephant, yet the toes extended in all directions from the center. They looked more like tentacles, though, and pressed deep into the earth like hooves and wet dirt. This means that whatever it is must be at least a few tons or more. We traced them back to the woods where we found what we believe to be is a nest. However bad the smell was before, it couldn't begin to compare to what we smelled there. We found some bones, but the police didn't seem interested in investigating any further. Fortunately, William is a professor of forensic chemistry. A former student of his has been overseeing some of the victims from the creature and said we had to come down to take a look. None of the other officers seemed very happy to see us. I think they all know by now the work we've been doing. We took some copies of the pictures, but I fear they're far too graphic for anyone to see. At a glance, you could tell that some of the body was eaten but the bite marks looked almost human in their positioning, yet were round and went deep into the flesh. She didn't look like the same person anymore. She was all withered, as if it sucked her dry. It had to identify her by her ID. I've never seen anything like it. I feel like I'm going crazy, like this is all just some nightmare that I'm going to wake up from. I keep waiting for someone to say that this is just some elaborate prank but nobody says anything. People just keep dying and there's no way for us to stop it. I honestly don't know what to think anymore. Nobody goes outside anymore. And I can't blame them, but what can they do? I'll keep you updated on anything else we find and add a link below for any blogs I'll be posting in the future. That is all for now.